Hi, my name is Ray Slaughter and I'm a marketing engineer in the CDS group at Train. Today I'm going to tell you about a little known tool included with Trace 700 called Trace Repair. So what is Trace Repair? It's a free tool included with Trace 700 that you can use to repair common issues, such as database connectivity problems, usually experienced as ODBC errors, problems viewing trace reports, problems with unsupported operation errors, and missing output locations. So why use trace repair? It can be used to fix common trace issues yourself and get back to work quickly. You can always feel free to call CDS support if you need additional help. It can also be used to create a data collection report to send to your CDS support engineer for troubleshooting purposes. In this video, I'll tell you about common problems that occur when using Trace and how to fix them. you also learn how to restore Trace's use of Windows controls, as well as how to check the status of your Trace install. We'll also show you how to create a data collection report if CDS requests one to help troubleshoot a problem that you're having. Before we take a look at the program, it's important to note that Trace Repair is intended to be used with the standalone version of Trace. If you were to perform a data source restoration on the network install, the application would lose its connectivity to the library and become unusable. Also, you must have admin rights on the local PC in order to use Trace Repair. Trace Repair is located in the Trace folder. For a Windows 7 machine, the full path is C Program Files x86 Train Trace 700. It's also possible to jump directly to this location from within Trace by pressing Ctrl-Alt-T. Simply double-click on the file to run the application. Remember, you must have admin rights to the local PC in order to be able to use Trace Repair. Trace Repair has three major sections, Configuration, Controls, and Status. There are also a couple of minor functions that help customers share information about their installation with the CDS support engineers. These are Save and Data Collection. The status window will give you an overview of your installation. Trace Repair will also ensure that key components, such as Microsoft Extended Markup Language, Visual C++, and the Trace Report Framework are installed. If one of these components is missing, Trace Repair will provide a link to download the missing software. Here's an example of what that would look like. In this instance, you would need to download the Microsoft MSXML Service Pack, and that would solve the issue. Users will also want to confirm that the output directory exists and the schema INI exists. The configuration section of Trace Repair has the most commonly used repair tools. For example, the trace library is stored in the lib7.db file. If the Windows ODBC connection to this database file is lost, trace will not be able to run. If this happens to you, you'll see a database login screen asking for a username and password. The login screen will have the name of the database having a connectivity problem at the top of the window. To correct the problem, ensure that trace is closed. Check the box that corresponds with the database name. And this is visible at the top of the login error screen. Click the Restore Defaults button. It's important to note that only one box should be checked at a time. If you are seeing multiple login errors, restore the default connections one at a time. If a user is having difficulty reading trace reports, try reinstalling the Microsoft Text Driver. Simply check the box to the left of Install Microsoft Text Driver and click the Restore Defaults button. The same approach is used if the output location is missing. Check the output location in trace.ini. Trace makes use of certain Windows controls. If one or more of those controls becomes unregistered for some reason, registry errors, installation of certain new software, etc., the user will see an unsupported operation error. 
If an unsupported operation error is encountered, close tray 700, then simply select all six checkboxes in the register controls section and click the register controls button. If the registration of the controls fails, uncheck the system level checkbox and click the register controls button again. The save button will create a text file containing the information shown in the status window. This text file can be sent to CDS support engineers to help speed the resolution of trace problems related to the desktop operating system. The data collection button can be used to create a zip file that contains detailed information about the user's trace installation. This zip file will be named datacollection.zip and can be found on the user's desktop. The file should be sent to the CDS support engineers if requested. For easy reference, we've created a short PDF that contains the information included in this video. You can download it from the CDS newsletter email or access it on traincds.com.